so can I zoom in here? No. There were one of those was boots and one of those was something else. I don't know if I want mule boots. But there's definitely a guy there. Oh, materials. And a ladder. That way. Why that way? Oh. Okay, it's reminding you which way to go. Can I crouch? There we go. It'll stay quiet. Um. I might want. This. Equipped. He said he gives it. Where are they, though? I don't see anybody. Okay, there's one there. Is that a person? Oh, shit. Okay, I wasn't sure I could cross there. Infiltrating. Crouching will help reduce the sound of your footsteps. Holding your breath will make you harder to detect. Oh, is it this whole damn box? Oh shit. Can I take this guy out? Huh? Wait. Damn it! I thought I could hit him or something. Like that. Unlock post box. I need the printer interface. Carry on back. Uh, lost cargo for large scale construction? What, can I take all the la lost cargo? Climbing anchor mule boots. Are they any better than my boots? Resins, metals. Okay, I don't want to take too much stuff. Auto arrange. I've got some container damage, it looks like. Should be fine. Changes now. Go back to your crouched position. Okay, anything here that you want? No, somebody's coming though. You better move. Move a little faster. It's like I can't move faster. You put all this stuff on my back. Oh god. Oh god, he's looking for his friend. Don't mind me. I'm going this way. Shit, can I get across with those rocks? Nope. Nope, I gotta go down. Oh no, I got over. I got over. I got over. Keep going, Sam. Keep going, please. Cargo weight will take more of a toll. Okay, he's looking for me. He's not looking very well. Shit. Oh, they know where I am! Sam, don't crouch. What? What just happened? Go, Sam, go. Just run. Just go as fast as you can, Sam. <laughs> Why does it say go that way? What the heck is up there? I don't know. I don't know what that is. And they're looking for me, so I'm, I'm just getting out of here. Just getting out of here, don't mind me! I just stole the stuff that you stole, it's fine! Oh god. I don't like that sound at all. Yeah, never mind the watchtower that I put right there for you. Stop making those noises!
Yeah, high post box. Okay, where's the rope? Where's the rope? Oh, you didn't even put it in a good spot. I guess I have to use the ladder. You know that's super dangerous. Oh, it worked this time. Mules. Damn addicts chasing a cargo high. <laughs> Shame we gotta deal with their bullshit at all. Back in the day, AI did everything. Deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles and drones. And all we had to do was sit back and let them work. It was revolutionary. Damn near singularity. No reason for it not to take off. But it didn't. People didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. So, after some consideration, we put it back in. Made jobs no one really needed and gave them to folks who couldn't live without them. And from there, it snowballed. Now we got cults of cargo chasing crazies who get off on hijacking shipments. Jackal's always on the lookout for the next porter. Make sure you're not him. Okay. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. I'm about to get rid of these boots. They're not looking so good. Okay. Now. Should have. How do I... Offload cargo? No, that's rest. Um. Hmm. Cargo. Auto range. I want to. Um. Yeah, just all the cargo. Everything else should be fine. Metals. How's metals looking? And then I, I want to... I selected multiple. Move to... X? Yeah, like that. Offload. You do not have required. Okay, yes, because I, I got put it down. Monster drink energy. I want to use this. Like... That. You're at 93. You're at 90. Oh no, that's, that's what the can container spray is at what condition how do I know I don't know these are tip-top shape I guess they look like they're in tip-top shape okay I wasted some container spray but that's fine all right now pick them all back up turn around Sam he has trouble turning around he's pretty top heavy though so all right Activate. Make a delivery. Let's deliver the lost cargo first. Return all the lost cargo equipment. Back, are you? You're trying to put the rest of us to shame. <laughs> Fine by me. See you around. Okay. That's not the button. Make delivery. Deliver the actual printer. Ah, time to get that chiral printer in working order. Sorry to push you through so much trouble, but trust me, it'll be worth it. 
Excellent. The unit doesn't have a scratch on it. Nope. Never doubted you'd come through for us. Less than 50% damage. Sam, oh. How are your shoes holding up? Not well. Not too well, I imagine. <laughs> Conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. New interview data acquired. Bridges HQ. Oh, I can build a bridge. Chiral crystals can now be used at all affiliated facilities. Awesome. Connection level continues to increase. We're good. See you around. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a chiral printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. You've mentioned that before. Said, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive mans with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. We're gonna get some confusing time travel stuff. New order available. Please okay. access delivery terminal for further information. Before we do that, let me go into my cargo. I want to equip it. So maybe I don't do it that way. I do it this way. Change footwear. There. Now I have better stuff. Can I recycle my old crappy boots? Or are they gone? These are gone. Don't know what we're gonna make out of them, but recycle those. Oh, cancel. New materials are now available. Can I? Hmm. So like, okay, I have metals. Do I recycle these? Oh, I do, okay. Recycling metals lets them use this. Okay, that's what, I was like, they're already metal. So do I really need to break them down? Yeah, I do. Okay. Keep the ladder, the climbing and container spray. Oh, I got more Cairo crystals. And I'm keeping my boots. Okay. There we go. Let's see if recycling has any special animation at all. Which it doesn't. Thank you for recycling. All right, we're good. 
Uh, anything in the shared locker that I want? Resins, metals, climbing equipment. If I just, like, take stuff? There's lost cargo. Can I just turn it in? To the way station west of Capital Not City. So that's behind us. All right. Okay. I'm done messing with that. Thank you for your contribution. There were things in the archives I wanted to read. Let's see if he got any mail. Okay, no, these we've read. Oh my goodness. Necrosis in the ancient Egyptian view of life and death. The Egyptians believed that we humans were composed of two elements, the Ha and the Ka, the body and the soul. Various elements expound upon their nature in detail, but perhaps it is simplest to conceive of them as follows. The soul is that which joins with the child in the womb and gives life to the body. It is also that which departs the body upon death. Ergo, the body is simply a vessel. Should the soul return to it, it will live again. This is precisely what is observed in near-death experiences, a soul separated, albeit briefly, from its body. The Egyptians believed death not to be an instantaneous change of state, but a process, a process by which the soul moves from one realm to another. But this process itself has changed, thanks to the death stranding. In the normal order of things, when death occurs, the soul vacates the body and passes into the seam. From there, it transitions to the beach, and only then on to the world of the dead. But after the stranding, a soul that has already made its journey to the beach may attempt to return to its body in this world. So that's how Sam's a repatriate, but not everybody has that ability. It was hard to believe at first, but the process of necrosis provided proof of this phenomenon that was difficult to deny. This is why it is imperative that we burn the bodies of the dead. The body must be destroyed to sever the link with the soul. Only then will the soul be free to journey to the world beyond. Okay, so necrosis, I don't fully understand. Because if Sam, Sam doesn't go into necrosis, this makes it sound like necrosis is when the spirit returns. But Sam doesn't go into necrosis. Sam is still Sam. Chiral symmetry. The word chiral comes from the Greek care, meaning hand. Compare your left with your right. They seem similar in both sides and shape, yes? Now face your palms away from you and place one hand over the other. Their shapes do not overlap exactly, but place your palms together and voila, a match. It is as if one hand is the mirror image of the other, but again, if you were to actually compare the mirror image of your hand to itself, we would see the two are not identical. This is the essence of chirality, the state in which the mirror image of a shape does not match the original. It has been theorized that BTs are mirror images of ourselves, where were we to exist in the same point in time and space, our shapes, as it were, would not overlap neatly onto one another, save in reflection. And when our particles meet their opposites, a void out occurs. The new form of communication we have devised utilizes beaches, which are akin to mirrors, reflecting this world and the other, hence the term chiral network. You would like to know more about Chirelium? Well, wouldn't we all? I'm happy to present the latest theories, but you must be aware that this is all that they are, theories. Chirelium, like dark matter, was born along with our universe and has existed ever since, just not in a dimension we were able to perceive, until now. It is the beach that gives us access to that dimension, and with it knowledge of Chirelium's existence. Not just knowledge of it, of course. We have since observed it coalescing into crystalline form and recorded measurable physical and mental effects on individuals exposed to it. It has reshaped our understanding of reality and proven instrumental in the formation of the multiverse theory of beaches. Chiral matter is not affected by the passage of time. As far as these particles are concerned, none has elapsed since the Big Bang. Little wonder they escaped our notice for so long until man and BT first came together in the void out and left nothing but chirillium in their, in their wake. Many of these claims are yet to be verified, but I believe this is a fair summary of the scientific community's current consciousness on the matter, no pun intended. I shall soon be heading west with the first expedition and I look forward to learning about chirillium and its connections to the beach along the way. So they talk about beaches in the plural 
and the beach in the singular. So I'm a little, so is there more than one beach? Central Knot City HQ. So the core infrastructure is complete. The basic QPED ready chiral network setup is good to go. Now all we have to do is connect Central Knot City to Capital and prove that it actually works. Sadly, I won't be here to see it. I've been assigned to the expositions team second group. So I'll be heading west with the others. But the people in charge here are the best of the best. They'll have the network operational inside of three years, just as planned, I'm sure of it. And while they're seeing to that, we'll be visiting towns and whatnot across the country and putting the facilities in place for when things are finally up and running. Amelie and the others in the lead group will be forging the connections and laying the groundwork to make sure everything goes to plan. Afterwards, we'll just need to link it all up with the operational cupids, and that should be that. Yeah, it's kind of like the Apollo missions back in the days. They used a three-stage rocket to get to the moon, right? Well, we'll be using a three-stage process to do something almost as revolutionary. This is two years ago distribution center. It's been about a year now since we came here with the rear guard. The first folks through did us the favor of setting up the chiral relay and patching things up before we arrived, so we're doing all right. Not sure about everyone else, though. Folks back home sound kind of freaked out. We don't know what's going on in the central or capital, let alone how Amelie and the others who kept heading west are doing, but something doesn't feel right. What's more, a lot of the guys have developed some kind of agoraphobia, like the thought alone of going outside scares the shit out of them. I don't like, I can't imagine why that would be. Why would you be afraid of going outside? <laughs> That's heavy sarcasm. See, the distro centers and way stations around these parts here aren't like the ones back east. They're much more isolated, out in the middle of nowhere, can't help but feel cut off from the world, and there's not a lot of staff on hand neither, which means you often have to do the work of two guys, which can make it that much lonelier too, and then you factor in the terrorism rumors. Also, is it just me or does it feel like there's more mules out there these days? Don't get me wrong. I know they're not out to get us. All they want is our cargo, right? Well, that does. I think they'd probably kill you to get your cargo, so... Doesn't change the fact they're not making our work any easier, especially since a lot of these guys used to be first-rate porters and could run rings around us if they hadn't, you know, gone crazy. Still, for now, the network systems are up and running, and we're just holding out for the day when the second expedition comes through with a working Cupid. Until then, we'll keep things chugging along. That much we can do for bridges and country, am I right? Wait, oh, okay. All right. We has read it all. Next quest. Oh, we were, that's right. We gotta go to the wind farm. Now, you've done a fine job expanding the Cairo network. But to make the most of it, we'll need to generate more power. We'll have to make a few hops before we can link up the closest city, too. Once this wind farm is part of the Cairo network, we'll be able to route the energy it generates through the beach. Unlike traditional transmission methods, nothing is lost. We can provide power to distant regions and utilize facilities there as electrical substations. You're to deliver a key component. Should be finished printing. Take it to the wind farm and get us in business. Okay. Confirm that. And... What's this one? Power supply unit delivery? Now, you've done a fine job expanding the Cairo network. Oh, no, no, no. But... Hey, Sam, mind doing me a favor? There's a bridge that needs building. Okay. Over a river, just outside that distro center. It's too deep to ford, and we'd like a long-term solution. The foundation's already been laid, and everything required to finish the job should be in storage. All you need to do is carry the remaining materials to the construction area, and use them to complete the bridge. If it turns out there isn't enough there for our needs after all, you'll have to come up with the rest on your own. Thanks. I know you've got a lot on your plate right now, but remember, this bridge will make your life easier too. Mm hmm. Does it tell me what I need? 
Not really. Alright, accept our orders. We've added a bridge schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation, after which you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Take a stroll across one you built yourself, and I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. Give it a try. Needs 800 medals. Okay. Fabricate equipment. I think I have a PCC, or do I need another one? Supplies two. Number owned. I just want one. I don't know. We got boots. Confirm. Why do I have a power supply? Oh yeah, that's right. I have some metals, a PCC. Okay, I'm gonna need 800 metals. So I shouldn't have recycled metals. I should have kept what I had. Oh, I have three freaking PCCs. Oh no, this is cargo shelf, okay. I need more metals. All right. Cancel, auto arrange. Firm. Don't fall over, Sam. I'm sure that's heavy as all get out. Order assigned. Okay. So I had another 400 metals that I freaking recycled. Um, okay, metals. Here's 50, here's 200, here's 400. Cool, give me that. Confirm. Oh, that's gonna be freaking heavy. But that is 400 metals. I, I mean, 800 metals. So that should be what we need. Changes will be undone. Are you sure? Gosh darn it. I think it's fine. Oh, Sam, I'm sorry. Oof. You got it? You gonna be okay? You gonna... No, you're not. Okay, you've got too much stuff. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We'll fix this. I just need you to turn around so we can get back to the terminal, Sam. <laughs> Too much weight. That's fine. We'll fix it. Uh. Private locker. Climbing anchor, container repair spray. Oh, I have two. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay. I need that. That has to be delivered. I could leave this for now and come back for it, even though I don't want to. I could get rid of a ladder. Can I leave this here and come back after I build the bridge? That would make life so much easier. Play some private locker. I'll come back. Yeah, that's way better. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. I could have dropped the ladder, and I would have been within range. Okay, Sam. Make your way to the designated construction area for the bridge. The foundation should already be in place. With your help, we'll have the thing finished in no time. There should be a terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional materials. Am I supposed to put fuel in this thing and make it run? <laughs> All right. Uh, so this is the bridge. Where are you? Where where are we? Is this us? Am I going the wrong way? Yes, Sam, you're going the wrong way. Yeah. Okay. I got it. There we go. So he said I could access the terminal for additional materials. So I'm wondering if I didn't need to carry all those metals? 
if I could have accessed a terminal here. Sam. Hello. Looks like you found the site. There should be a terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional materials. Nope. How do I structure menu options? Um, okay, what do I do? Cargo orders? Custom marker, bridge foundation. That's the dust bridge foundation. How do I... I don't understand. That's structure menu. Hold down the options button. Hold it down. Oh, okay. Hold it down. All right, complete structure. So it only needed, it already has 400. It only needed 400 more. Okay, so let me give you this. beans. Alright. Bravo, Sam. That bridge should make life easier for a lot of people. You can be sure that every traveler and porter who passes that way will put it to good use. Keep an eye out for other spots that could do with another well-placed bridge. Oh, so... doesn't look like... Hold on. There's more water that I will have to traverse. Oh, maybe, maybe there is. Maybe there is water that I'll have to traverse. I was gonna dump these metals, but maybe... No, maybe I should dump them. Choices, man. Choices. Beginning scan. To scan in bridges, ID. 